Shannon Pence, 15-year-old from Edmond, Oklahoma. Shannon Miller shies away from publicity, instead working her way step by step to a dream she had when she was seven, make it to the Olympics. Well, after two more qualifying meets, Shannon and her coach, Steve Nuno, will know if she made the team. The world will know what determination can produce when they watch this ninth grader in action. This is the Dynamo Gymnastics Center, a second home for hundreds of Oklahoma kids. Okay, put your rope down. 100 rebounds over the rope. Go. There is so much energy harnessed in these young bodies. And make no mistake, this is fun, but it is also a job. These kids are here to win competition. Most work out five days, every week, no excuses. Why are you here? My goal is to be When did you know that's what you wanted to do? When I started doing it in Africa. How old were you? Three. Good, Carrie. Good job. Shannon Miller started young, too, after her mother caught her four-year-old doing slips on a new trampoline. The next person, go! Now Shannon, 15, is a step away from earning the right to join the Olympic team in Barcelona. She said she gets the Sequoia book, and I said, what book? I was like, it's a, it's a book. In some ways, the gym is a small, closed community. Daniel Parker made up the watermelon. Where you go? Daniel Parker made up the watermelon. Nicole, Argo, and he calls it F. The girls are best friends here. They are with each other as much as they are their own family. The coaches are like parents, and the family rule is discipline. Three sets, Jessica, to share with her, please. No talking. Three sets to ten. Round your back, Sarah. Fear is the first thing Shannon left behind when she started gymnastics. Shannon, keep your arm. Right up to center, and you make the correction. Shannon pulled off a difficult routine, balancing on a six-inch beam. Is your whole life gymnastics? Um, right now it is. Everything is pretty much based around the gym. I mean, if I need to stay longer at gym, the school understands, and they let me out. Earlier in the day, we caught up with Shannon at Edmund North Mid-High. Again, you have lateral area, which is two by four times the height, plus two base areas. What are the base areas now? Shannon spends so much time training for the Olympics, she's cut her classwork back to three classes a day. But the classes are tough, and the homework takes up what little spare time she has. <laughs> This 15-year-old seems so tiny, fragile, and quiet. Her mother, Claudia, says that's an illusion. She has this reputation for being so shy and so quiet and so meek. Oh, boy, these people do not know her. I don't know what she asked her brother, but she, he will tell you that Shannon rules the roost at home. She marches in, and she is Steve Nuno II. <laughs> it is all right. My mom's coming home. This house had better not look like this. Tessa, you get in there and pick up the, the trash in the living room. Troy, you get upstairs and clean up your room. I'm going to work on the kitchen. And Dad, have you got the laundry on yet? Speaking of her brother, Troy is also headed for gymnastics competition. He's part of a new boys team at Dynamo. And not surprisingly, he gets some help from his older sister. Every night she gets she is stronger and stuff. She makes me do about 20 chin-ups just to get me stronger and stuff. Shannon is the middle of three children, and her schedule is incredible. Workouts six days a week for 36 hours. Probably the most difficult thing is juggling schedules. Uh, last weekend, I had one taking the SAT test, the oldest one, but the youngest one was in his state meet in Bartlesville. 
um, I have to go judge a meet, and Shannon's got to get to the gym. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Now we've got two cars, two adults. How are we going to get these kids on and everybody where they need to go? And that's probably been the, the most difficult thing because that's not an unusual weekend. That happens all the time. Do you miss Alan being sick? No. No? I mean, I get to do a lot of stuff that people my age don't always get to do, like travel. So what was your best event today? And what'd you score there? Nice No way. A few weeks ago, some of the world's finest gymnasts were in Oklahoma City to honor the determined 16-year-old kid from Edmond, Oklahoma. The people Shannon idolized, Nadia Comaneet, Kelly Garrison, Bart Connor, now sing her praises. Shannon Miller is for real. I mean, she's not just some local Oklahoma kid that we're trying to support and send her on her way to the Olympics. This young lady is for real. And as we saw her in the World Championships, in Indianapolis, win a couple of silver medals and go on to represent the United States so beautifully. Uh, we're all excited about her hopes, and Claudia and Ron, we, uh, we're, we're all pulling for you guys because uh, we know you have a fantastic year ahead, and, uh, and she's a really special young lady, so uh, we're going to do all, our can all we can to support her. There's just one to Hi, I'm Laurie, Betty Laurie. This is the Dynamo Classic. Gymnasts from the U.S., Canada, and Mexico are in Oklahoma City for a day of tough competition. and Shannon have a lot riding on this meet. Between now and Barcelona, every event counts. And now, please welcome your host, Team Dynamo Gymnastics. First, the vault. It's flawless. Then the uneven bar. and scores an almost perfect 9-9. Now it's time for that difficult balance beam routine. What are you thinking about? Um, mainly just my routine is going through my mind, making sure I'm listening to my coaches and correcting them. You can learn as much from how she handles failure as success. She hops right back on and absolutely never, ever quits. Who do you think is harder on you, the coaches or you? Probably me. Tell me why. Mm, I guess I expect a lot out of myself. I see her at least hanging in for another year because she enjoys it too much. You, you can see that she enjoys it. You know, it is work, but it's also fun, and she'll tell you that. Do you know that you're really, really good? But I can do better. <laughs> but you're great. Is that good enough for you? No. I mean, not until... I won a gold in Barcelona. A 
A few weeks ago, Shannon was doing a bar dismount and injured her arm. She told me she is more determined than ever to come back from that injury and peak at Barcelona in mid-July. I asked her parents, Ron and Claudia, if they could join her in Spain. They can, but only if they can raise the money. Oklahomans should make sure nothing stops the Millers from seeing Shannon's dream come true. Still to come, we'll tell you...